Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning Railroad Revolution. Railroad Revolution is a few years old now. Uh, the copyright says this came out in 2016. Uh, so it's been around for a few years, but it's a worthwhile game to sink your teeth into. Uh, I found that this game, everything I've listened to about it is saying that there's there's one real quick, easy way to get a victory. Now, I've, I've played the game three times in the last, I don't know how many months, and I have not found that once I have ever wanted to just do the thing that will gain me the victory. I, I think that's actually a really good response to that problem, that issue. It's just ignore that that's a thing and don't go after it. It's what they're saying, what what podcasts are saying that I've listened to was that the there's the bottom track, the yeah. um, Western Union line is a really quick way to get points. I'm not 100% convinced on that, to be honest with you. I haven't tried it out. I haven't tried to go just doing that one thing. But my instinct is that there's enough points, there's enough large points on other stuff that you can go for other things. Uh, I found that I'm generally trying to get my railway all the way across the board to the level 5 spots and get my marker up as high as I can so that each of those spots is worth 25 points. Of course, if you can join all three of them, you've got 75 points right from the beginning. Uh, I, I personally have found that that's the way that I'm angling and trying to go. Um, I don't see how you would get anywhere near the high level of points by just taking that Western Union way of scoring. Having said that, I haven't tried it, so I'm happy to be wrong on that, but it's a thing. Um, Railroad Revolution is a train game in essence, but it's a train game where you've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. There's When you look at the rules, when you read through it, it seems really hectic and oh, I don't know where I'm at, but when you break it down, it suddenly makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> The whole idea is that you've got white workers and they can be upgraded to the four different colours of workers. They're supposed to be jobs, I'm assuming, that are kind of higher up in the structure of a railway. And if you send one of them to work on any of the four spots, they can do something slightly different. And so when you're looking at your board, what you need to make the decision of is which of the guys do I want to send up to do this particular job because they're going to give me this particular bonus. And it's going to be different every time, so there's no specific hard and fast rule about that. Some of them might give you um, a free station onto the spot. Some of them might make things cheaper. Some of them might enable you to buy some other bonus cards for different amounts. And all of these things are a really good thinky, thinky, thinky thing to do. This game is published by What's Your Game. I have found that as a lot of people have said, Watch Your Game come out with some really solid, solid games that I tend to enjoy. I haven't loved absolutely every game they've, they've sent out, but I have enjoyed a lot of their material. So they're well up there for publishers of games that I'm enjoying and liking, and I will jump on the bandwagon with that. If it's a Watch Your Game game, you're probably pretty safe that it's going to be a good game and fun to play. I haven't seen anything about this game for the last year or so, and look, I think, I fear that it's just the culture of the time, of what we're doing with games, and I've got to get the newest, 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 but I think there's still space for these slightly older games, and I think that actually some of these slightly older games that last, that go the distance, that you're going, oh yeah, I think I want to play that, they're actually probably a better game to get than the absolutely newest thing, because we don't know how it's going to last the test of time. So, look, I'll leave it there. Uh, go on and watch my Games Playing Games Explanation to get a feel for how the game actually plays and what the rules are um, and all the little intricate little bits that are going on with the rules on this game. If you have any games that you would like to be Games Playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplanner at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplanner to keep up to date with the games I'm playing. Subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games I'm Games Planning. And until next time, enjoy gaming.